going on everyone today we are solving leap code number 139 it's called word break this is a classic classic dynamic programming problem definitely one to know it is asked all the time you can see in the last six months it was asked 28 times at Facebook 23 times at Amazon 15 times at Bloomberg so definitely want to know this one and it is a little tricky when you first see it but um, once you kind of understand the pattern it's actually not too bad you just want to make sure you get the indices right because it's very easy to, to kind of trip up on indices and that's not just with this problem it's with most dynamic programming problems so let's take a look at the prompt here we have a non-empty string s and a dictionary word dictionary containing a list of non-empty words and we want to determine if s can be segmented into a space separated sequence of one or more dictionary words and the same word in the dictionary may be reused multiple times in the segmentation we can assume that the dictionary does not contain duplicate words okay so we got leap code and leap code can be segmented in from the word dictionary leap and code all right we got apple pen apple that can also be segmented uh, from from the dictionary as apple pen apple and then cats and og or cat sand dog uh, cannot be segmented because we have cats, dog, sand, and and cat, but we don't have the og. Og. Uh, okay. So the way you want to do this is you just want to you want to create a table. Okay, and we want to do uh, we just want to set it as an array, so we can do new array s dot length, and we want to set it to plus one, and we can just fill it initially with false. All right, so we're just going to create a table that's the length of this leap code plus one. It's just going to be an array. And then we're going to set all those values to false. And then what we want to do is the first element of that table, the zeroth element, we, don't, we want to just set that to true. Okay, so that's our initial table. And then we're going to gain the values of the rest of the uh, table based off of what was previously in the table. And this will make a little more sense once we get into the code. So we can do four let i equals um, zero i is less than table dot length i plus plus okay so now we're going to iterate over this table and we want to check if the element that we're at in the table if it is false then we can just move on we just want to find the true values okay so we can do if table at i equals false we can go ahead and continue else what we want to do j equals we want to we want to do j and we want to basically create an inner loop where we're going to start at l and then j is going to be e we're going to check e we're going to check t and if that's in there then we're going to go ahead and set this value to true okay this is where those indices can get a little bit confusing so we can do j is i plus one j is less than table dot length J plus plus okay and now here what we want to do is we want to check does that substring is it in the word dictionary okay so we can just do uh, word uh, dict um, and then we can do s dot slice of I and J and then if that is true sort of extra parentheses there if that's true then we can go ahead and set that jth value in the table to true as well so we can do table of j is going to equal true and then all we do is we just go ahead and return the last element in the table length minus one okay uh, let's see here uh, okay, we got a parentheses here. If we're dick, we have one, two, three, slice, one, two, three. We've, no, we're not missing that. Okay. Oh, word dick dot includes. There we go. Okay, and that does it. Okay, so 
when you get to these types of problems, it, you know, you want to use a table. Usually with these tables, it's going to be one extra value on top of what the input is. So if the input string is a length of five, then you want to create a table with a length of six. And you want to send, you want to set that initial value to be preset. And then you basically fill in the rest of that table using whatever's already preset as you fill out the rest of the table. Um, and so, yeah, that is lead code number 139, word break. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.